Washington State here in Nigeria, your number one cultural state. When you talk about culture, we know how best to exhibit our cultures. We know what is hip, we know what is trendy when it comes to culture. This is your number one cultural program on TRBC TV, and it's called our dances. On every edition of our dances, we know how best to treat you with our cultural dances from different sites and different parts of Washington State. But today we're treating you with the Northern Cultural Dance, and it is called the Ikwigi Dance. Now, got to think about it. We all know that culture plays a very, very important role in civilization. Culture, pl culture plays a very, very important role in our identity as Nigerians and as Africans. And we all know that the greatest custodian of the African culture is Nigeria. Nigeria has a very, very fast culture. Crossover State has a unique and diverse culture. It has a very, very fast cultural heritage. Now, there are so many cultures in Crossover State which have not been explored. And on the program at Dances Every Week, we'll be bringing to you different cultures from different parts of Cross River State. Enjoy the culture from the Northern Central Senatorial District of Cross River State. My name is Yofai Samuel. I'm keeping you abreast of this. Happy viewing. showing on these days.
our dancers showing on these days. For adverts placement and sponsorship details, contact the marketing department CRBC IDB Way Calabar or Colors. 0803-346-8157-0803-725-4744 or better still send us an email info at crbconline.org watching the Ikwili dance from the northern part of Kosh University. And I told you Nigerians are very talented. I told you Kosh Nigerians have the one of the best cultures in Nigeria. Right about now, we're going to be talking to the dancers. They're going to feel their pulse. They're going to tell us how they feel being in their costumes. Okay, Mrs. Nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh, how are you feeling at this point? I'm feeling good. You're happy? Mm, too much. Okay, can you tell us briefly about the Ikwili dance? This is a really dance from oh, Budu local government area of Koshiba State. This dance tells the purity of the lady, young ladies. And when you watch her the dance steps, you know what stage is the lady that it is, whether it's young or whether old. That is just a kind of celebration dance for young beautiful maidens, like you can see them all adorned with the beauty of African queens. Hey, now, briefly, can you tell us the costumes? Tell us about the costumes you're wearing, because I know the different costumes that you have on your body have different significance. Could you tell us about this costume?
are dancers showing on these days. For adverts placement and sponsorship details, contact the marketing department CRBC IBB Way Calabar or Colors. 0803-346-8157-0803-725-4744 or better still send us an email info at crbconline.org Costumes you're wearing because I know the different costumes that you have on your body have different significance. Could you tell us about these costumes? Wow, this is an African fabric, and as Nigerians as we are, we have made it, sold it so beautiful for ourselves. You can see us, and we are putting on African beads. These are Kora beads. If you're not with them, then you're not a complete African lady, and it does not give you the beauty. You can see us looking even yourself, looking too gorgeously dressed. That is all about it. And we have them, the local ndom. This is um. Yes, on our bodies, we use it to make patterns. We use it to make design for ourselves. Like the leg, you can see it on our leg. You can see it on our face, on our body. You know, Ndom is so good. And it tells you who an African lady is all about. It beautifies us. Now, briefly, could you tell us the significance of this Ibili dance? Ah, this significance, the significance of Ibili dance is used sometimes for coronation. It's used to, sometimes to crown a baby. It used some time for the president, for the VIP, like when the president comes, you go and welcome him. And also used for festivals, like the Obudu festivals, Yako festival, Ikon festival, you know, Ross River State is an endowment of culture and heritage. So you use this dance for it at okay, any hour. What would you say about the beautiful cultural heritage of Ross River State? What do you think is very, very, very unique about it? I think we are there. It's only the sky that is our limits. Because when you talk about artistic, when you talk about aesthetic, when you talk about what culture is all about, Cross River State, I think we are. We are. There's no other states. We are so unique in our culture. Send the word to people out there who do not identify with their cultural heritage. Wow, you're missing out. And it's a pollution. For you not, for you not to, to mix up with your own cultural heritage, keep your culture. Re preserve it. Conserve it like we are doing now. Are you not happy to see Idili dance from a local government area? So you should preserve your culture, whether from Sokoto, whether from Kogi. Preserve your culture and make it good for that. Like Wonderful. Thanks for the time, yeah. darling. Hello. Hello. Thank you. Are you happy to be? Yes, sir. What do you like about your costume? I like because it's so unique. So unique. Yeah. Okay, yeah. what do you like about your costume? The beads represent royalty and the chalk on my face represents fertility. Wow. Thank you. What do you like about the costume? The uniqueness of it. The uniqueness of the costume. Thank you very much. What do you like about your costume? Man, fantastic. Everything is good. Wow. Yeah. Are you happy to be in this costume? Very happy. Very, very happy. Okay. <laughs> what do you like about your costume? Man, it's really costume is for just made yet. So we are very happy to wear it. Again, what do you like about your costume? Tell us what you like about what you're wearing. I like the skirt. You know, when we use it, it's hanging our waist. It becomes... Very, very, very yes, yeah, very beautiful. Thank you. Okay, what do you like about your costume? Hello, what I like about my costume is especially the hair. What's used to decorate our hair, the toothpick that's on the hair, it's so beautifully arranged. Even the fabric, the fabric is so wonderful. You can look at us, we are all looking sparkling and wonderful. I'm so excited. What do you like about your costume? Wow, it makes me look like an African queen. And I'm proud of being an African. And a queen for that matter. From Cross River State. Endowed with many rich cultures. I'm so happy wearing this. Because I'm a maiden. And when I'm being brought out for my husband to see, he will adorn me. He will love me like this. Yeah, that's what I love about my costume. Okay, beautiful lady, what do you like about your costume? I love everything about my costume, from my head to toe. In fact, I'm in love with my costume and my culture. I love it so much, and I'm being happy wearing my costume. Everything, my beads, my leg uh, rattles, everything about me, I like it, and I love it so much. Okay, we now allow you to enjoy the rest of the Ikili dance as we now move to the drama. Keep enjoying the dance steps. One five samples to keep you on point. Keep it real.
our dancers showing on these days. For adverts placement and sponsorship details, contact the marketing department CRBC IBB Way Calabar or Colors. 0803-346-8157-0803-725-4744 or better still send us an email info at crbconline.org Example like this to give the dancer what they need. So where are these drums gotten from? Are they gotten from Calabar? They're gotten from Ubudu because I know this is an Ubudu dance. Excuse me, this drum can be gotten from anywhere, not necessarily Calabar or Calabar, because you know culture now is not that it's not static. Now it's dynamic, as I'm talking. So you, all these instruments you can get it from anywhere that you can lay your hand upon. Right? Wonderful. So let me get to speak with your drummers. Hello? Hello. Can we hear the sound of your drum? Can we hear the sound of this drum? Okay, so what's the essence of this drum? We don't go. What does it do? You just back all these drums. Okay, okay. Let's hear the sound of your drum. Okay, so what's this drum called? 
the bass drum. What does he do? He's yeah, using for all the uh, cultural dance in Calabar. Okay. Let's hear the sound of your drum, please. What's this drum called? Talking drum. Talking drum, what does it do? He's playing the step of the dance. Wonderful. Okay, let's hear the sound of your own. What does this do? Oh, this was a support for the civil dance. Okay. What's the name of the drum? Uh, the, uh, the maracas. Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Let's hear the sound of your drum, please. What drum is this? Wooden block. Okay, what does it do? It used to call the member of the dance. Okay, okay, okay. Let's hear the sound of your drum. What drum is this? Small talking drums. Okay, what does it do? They are supporting all the drums. Okay, let's hear the sound of your drum. Okay, what drum is this? Wooden block. Okay, what does it do? It's the back of the talking drums. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Okay, at this point, we're signing out from the Gili Dance from Opudu local government area here in Boshiva State, in Northern Senatorial District, precisely. It's been a wonderful time out here. What can I say at this point in time? Culture is very unique. Culture is, is dynamic. It's not static. Culture is something that distinguishes us as Africans. I mean, we're sweating, but we're having fun. We're basking in the euphoria of the group. Let's dance some more as we just say bye-bye and see our busy TV. Until next week, we'll next week when we present the program at Dances Again, keep it real on the station. Thank you very much for staying tuned. My name is Wafai Samuel. At this point in time, I'm saying goodbye.